guys, I just arrived. I look like I died. It was the worst, longest flight of my life. The airport is so dead. There's like no one here. It's kind of scary. Hey guys, so it is officially the first day of my vacation. I did come yesterday, but we just basically slept for the whole day and didn't do anything. So today is my first official day out. I'm super excited. Uh, today's outfit is just this white shirt from Frank and Oak. It's like a cute little button up. And then I have these um, A gold crisscross jeans and we're headed downtown. I don't know exactly where, but it's like a cute little brunch place. And I will take you guys along with me. Let's go. Hey guys, so I made it to the place. It's called uh, what'd you say again? Saya. Saya Cafe, and this is the area. It's called Miraz. It's really cute. Um, there's like flower. The area is called Sewa. What is this? Miraz is the construction company that makes it. Oh, okay. Well, City Walk yeah. is the area, and Saya is the cafe. Okay. okay. Miraz. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I don't know where I'm at. You guys, I'm gonna post this over here. Um, I want to show you guys the beautiful decorations everywhere and if you guys can see you can't really see inside of it uh i'll go inside at one point and show you guys how it looks inside but the lighting ooh, honey look how i go and um i took some pictures i don't really like them uh, i felt pressure because people were watching me and uh, i'm gonna have to redo those uh, but so far i'm having a very good time we ordered lotus pancake i don't know what to talk about bro that's like having a vlogger um <laughs> The weather is so nice. It's like perfect weather. It's February. If you guys are gonna come here, I would suggest to come in February. My eyes can't take the sun. People here are a little bit standoffish. I don't talk about that. Um, that's about it. I'll show you guys when our food comes. the french toast i don't know what this is some type of milk substance and then she got uh pancakes and then this is so cute what they did for us happy galentine's day isn't that so cute so we just finished at the first place what was it called Seya's cafe uh, Seya cafe so, my cousin. Cool. Hi. so now we're gonna go to the beach and um I'm just kind of sad because this place is so kid friendly and it just makes me reminds me of Alina and how much she would enjoy it. There's kids that were on, uh, were they on bikes? Scooters. Scooters, not scooters. I'm gonna put a picture of it. I've seen the um, Kim Kardashian's kids ride it too. Last time I came here was April and it was so disgustingly hot. Um, but yeah, now we're headed to the beach. We're gonna have some, I don't know, drinks. What are we gonna do at the beach? Whatever, chill. Guys, it's not sick. It's not second nature to me to be doing this. I'm very uncomfortable too because people are staring at me it's so hard, um, and I look very vain. <laughs> but I'm gonna vlog this whole experience for you guys. This is very cute. I bought it. Okay, restaurant strip. Restaurant strip. It's really nice. I wish I could show you guys, but I'm really afraid of YouTube people <laughs> because I don't want to go to jail. So, oh my god, Alina would love this. <laughs> You know she called me right now? She showed me to pick her up from home. And then I told her I couldn't pick her up and she hanged up the phone. She was so mad. So I'm at the JBR. It's really beautiful. Oh my god, are you okay? So pretty. Oh my god, everything is so cute for kids. I'm so mad. So we just got home and we got changed for dinner and I'm wearing this cute little green blouse. I tried to iron it and I literally burned a hole in the middle but luckily I was able to cover it up with a little bow and I think it's really cute. It's like a color I haven't really worn before and I'm wearing leather pants and some black heels and um, yeah my makeup is still going you guys. Uh, it came off a little bit here I'll probably retouch it but other than that 
had this makeup on since I want to say 1 p.m. and it is now around 10 p.m. so it has lasted a long time. I feel like it has to something to do with the humidity or something in Dubai because the last time I came to Dubai me and my sisters were like so amazed at how great our makeup looked um, and I'm pretty sure it had something to do with just being here because this is amazing. Usually by the end of my day, it's like coming off here, there's lines, it's wrinkles, it's looking a mess, but it's looking pretty good that I don't have to touch it up like hardly at all. Hey guys, so I just came to the um, gold soap. My sister had bought some jewelry last time, so I'm gonna fix it up for her and then, these guys keep bothering us. Everywhere they go, they go, borsa, borsa. Anyways, so I'm gonna go fix up her jewelry and then I'm gonna buy some dinner. I have a family wedding to go to. And yeah, I'll show you guys around as usual. How beautiful. When I came here the last time, it wasn't covered like this, was it? It looks different. Look at all the jewelry. The Borsa people are so annoying, oh my god. Harassing us for their fake shit. Anyways, I have like a million things to buy and I'm so stressed out about it. I have to get my mom into that. I have to get my sisters all did ass. I have to get my mom some jewelry. I have to fix, I have like bunch of necklaces to get fixed. Oh, this place is so nice, you guys. I'll show you guys on the inside of it. It's so nice. Look at this. Wow. It's amazing and gorgeous, so I'm so excited to go. I haven't been to a museum in so long since the AGO, which was like years ago. So I'm excited. I hope they have like interactive stuff. Uh, that's what I like to see. Right here has been kind of like when you leave Ontario. Like it's not a lot going on. It's just a bunch of sand. I thought it would be a little bit more scenic. All right, guys. So we just got here. I did a quick outfit change. So I'm wearing this. Uh, like white silky top and then some cream whoop, leather pants and then a white heels and it's so beautiful but it's so hot out here i'm gonna flip the camera so i can show you guys how the entrance looks everything's so clean it's like this floor is so clean you can eat off of it and this is how it looks it's the walkway it's very busy because it's half term so a lot of people are off school hey guys this place is so cool you don't know how to get out because you it looks like it's like an optical illusion so it looks like can you come out this way no see so you have to like pass through it and it's like a little maze it's so cool ah! guys how amazing is this this is the dome it goes all above there's so many people here but this is so beyond beautiful So we just finished at the masjid in this place. I want to cry. It's so beautiful.
It's time to go. We got back on this little buggies because this mustard is so cute. It's hard to find. Huh? Yeah, we're lazy also. So it's nice to have. I wish they had this everywhere. Doctor, we got so much done today though. We went to the Louvre. We went here. That's for us. That's a lot. Huh? And now we're gonna go eat somewhere nice here. I don't know where exactly. We'll figure out our GPS. Our not GP. We'll figure out our GP. But I'm happy about the day. I feel like I got so much done, and I feel so accomplished. And I got Thank some bomb pictures. And I got to visit this beautiful masjid, so I'm happy. Okay. As always, I will see you guys at my next destination. Bye-bye. So, the day has continued. I'm, I am so beyond 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 exhausted and tired you have no idea but we're here at the mall we're gonna get food and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna go to sleep because i'm not late it's only like 9 p.m but i feel so drained in the day i uh, will show you guys how the mall looks it's very pretty architecture the stores so basic you guys there's so many beautiful restaurants here it's like the land of food but I'm going to the Cheesecake Factory because I don't have time and we don't have energy to try to figure out good food. I got the Louisiana chicken. This is what I get every time and then my cousin got this, uh, I don't even know what it is, Asian chicken and rice. And we're sitting beside each other because we're Valentine's. Okay, bye. afternoon I don't even know you guys oh my god I feel like I'm in a million different time zones I don't know where my head's at really it's about mid-afternoon here which means it's early early morning over there and I just set a bunch of alarms for myself so I can call my family and call Alina and check up on people and honestly I feel like people from North America who live here how do you guys stay connected like i feel like the world over there is moving without me if that makes sense my cousins went to Sharjah and they're doing some errands so i decided to stay here and just recuperate and relax and i have some work to do so i've been like really enjoying myself just relaxing and staying home oh so, as far as uh, my shopping's going i didn't buy anything really i have so many dress and gold and a bunch of stuff to buy so what i'm gonna do is tuesday which is tomorrow i'm gonna go back finalize all the orders that we kind of started on monday i uh, know saturday and then when i come back from oman i will be able to pick everything up and then come back to toronto with all of the things that i promised people that i would buy for them um for myself i really want to get alina a necklace that says alina i don't know if i want to get it in english or in arabic i feel like in english she would appreciate it more because she knows that's her name but then in arabic it's kind of cute too because she can explain it to people and she is um in duxi now so she's like just learning the alphabet in arabic so i think it'll be like a good learning thing for her hey guys what's up Today's look is brown. I'm wearing all brown. I have a, like this hijab that I picked up from the gold silk. It was only 10 dirhams, which is like what? Three or four dollars. And then I have on, actually, actually probably less than that. Anyways, and I have on this brown top. It's from Zara. It's really a whole brown look. That's why I went with this makeup. I don't have the energy to show you the rest of my outfit. Eventually, I'll put a picture in here so you guys can see how I looked. 
Um, this brown smoky eye took me super fast. I just used two colors, a darker brown here and then more of an orangey brown on top. This lipstick is by Bite. I really love their lip crayons. I used to not be such a fan, I'm not gonna lie, of Bite lippies. I found the ones that I had were really dry, but these, the satin finish is so amazing. I feel like my makeup came out pretty nice today, even though we were in a super rush because we thought our reservations were earlier than they actually were. Don't you hate that when you're like rushing and then you find out you have actually way more time? So then now you're just sitting around um, and you could have took your time to get ready, but you didn't. It is day seven, seven or three, I don't even know. But anyways, we're going to dare back to the sulk because I didn't get any of the stuff that I was supposed to get last time. And hopefully we can finalize everyone's orders and cause I'm not going back there. I really don't like that place. It smells weird and it's very, very hot and it's tiring and it's a lot of walking. So I prefer never to go there again, but I'm going one more time to get my sister's stuff and my mom's stuff. And then um, you wanna go to eat Somali food? I really, really, I'm craving Somali food. I haven't had it in so long. So hopefully we, we can make it by lunch for that. Today's look is, it's kind of an Amishy looking dress. It's like, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like, what is it called? Little, what are the little girls? Little women on the prairie? Little girls on the prairie, I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. I'm so exhausted. So we're at the El Cif Souk. I don't even know, I'm like, I don't wear sunglasses on, it's the middle of the night. Anyways, isn't it so pretty? I'll show you guys. This is above us. And it's like really, this looks fake, but it's supposed to give you the vibe of like, old school Arab living, I don't even know, villagey. And this is actually the place where my sister bought her gold that I'm fixing for her, so that's why we came here. And we got lost and we got scammed by a taxi driver. Basically, we were like two steps away from where we were supposed to go. We were looking for it, we are like, hey, do you know where this is? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll take you there. It's kind of a far walk. And it was literally across the street. To the point where I'm like, I should report him. And then I was like, whatever. It's just like 12 dirhams. It's not worth it, even arguing over, but who does that? He could have just directed us. He could have just said it's right there. Instead, he's like, yeah, I come in the car. And he took us in a whole U-turn. He's not very slow. We didn't even notice what he was doing. And he just went around the block once and then dropped us off maybe two steps from where we were. It's a really cute place if you're like on a date or with someone, your husband, your partner, whatever. It's very romantic. And a romantic how? It's nice. Anyways, I also thought the prices here were kind of expensive for the gold, but this is where my sister went, so I had to go back to him because he knows what she wants done. She's like talking to him on WhatsApp. For my mom's gold, I decided not to buy it from here because it was super overpriced. And then if I'm gonna pay all that money, I might as well go to the smallest stores because I feel like at least I can support my own people with that. Hey guys, so back in the school. I'm literally starting to hate it here. It's so busy, so packed. His anxiety of having to shop for other people. So I really, this is like my least favorite part of Dubai. But I have so much to get done, I'm so stressed out about it. I already made a mistake, my sister, I talked to her about the gold that I was supposed to fix for her. And apparently the price that I quoted was too much. I got scammed, I didn't even notice. sick of eating out every day so we decided to make some tacos and so these ones are so delicious it's just chicken salsa onion cilantro some cheese some lime and yeah it's our first meal at home in how many days like a week hey guys so back in dubai i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm getting exhausted i'm over this i want to go back home um, but I have a few more days, so today we're gonna go to dinner again. Um, and we're going to this place called Asia Asia, which is cute. Um, obviously, Asian food. And we might go to Palm Jumeirah because I haven't been there, so walk around. Today we kind of spent the day sleeping. And we arrived earlier and just been 
like hanging around at home and i am wearing this shirt i wore it the other day not in oman but i really can't be bothered to look through my luggage and it was like on the top of my luggage so i'm like i'm gonna wear this and instead of wearing it with leather pants i'm wearing it with just plain black jeans and it's just a very comfy outfit it's very loose uh and i'm not in the mood to wear anything really super dressed up and today's makeup is very simple it took me like 15 minutes i just put um my brows on my lashes are already done and just some foundation in <laughs> you guys can tell my energy is kind of low it is um this is i'm not used to this kind of lifestyle you know i'm at home 24 7 so it's been it's been fun though i'm not gonna lie it's been like the best trip of my life but it's been very tiring. After we go to dinner at Asia Asia, we might go to Palm Jumeirah or just like do some sightseeing stuff even though it's at night. The city's very beautiful at night. Um, and then tomorrow, inshallah, is my last full day and I wanna do a lot of daytime stuff. And then I leave and go back to my daughter. I was FaceTiming her today, I miss her so much. Um, I've never been away from her, from her this long, so it feels like very, like I'm starting to feel really sad about it. So I'm, I'm very excited to go see her. And yeah, as usual, you guys will come along and see what I'm eating and what I'm doing. Hey guys, we're here. I wanted to show you how beautiful So we just finished eating um, and we're gonna go to the mall. There's a mall right here somewhere and I have to exchange more money. I had, um, when I was in Oman, I exchanged my money to Rials and I'm actually getting it back. It's actually really bad when you keep um, going back and forth between currencies, like you lose a lot in the middle, but it's okay. Um, and then salt is right there, it's literally around the corner. So I was thinking of getting um, a lotus shake, but then I'm so full, but then if I don't, when am I gonna come back here? And I really don't want to go to La Mer because it's kind of far. So, I'm gonna consider it. Probably I'm gonna get it. So, I got it. It tastes so good. Definitely worth the excess calories. I'm gonna regret this when I get to Toronto. Hey guys, so I'm back in this El Cif marketplace thing to get my mom and my sister's jewelry that I left here. And yeah, it's really nice. I like the vibe of it, but there's something very artificial too about it. It doesn't look like it's like really historic. It kind of looks like Universal Studios. You know what I mean? But go back to the gold tour, and then finally I'll be done and I can go home tomorrow in peace. All right, so this is it. This is where my sister went to get her gold. We always have such a hard time finding it. I'm back again. It's my last visit, hopefully, inshallah, to the Sulk. And uh, it's my least favorite part of Dubai. It's so busy and hectic, and people are yelling at you and stressful. That I bought. And we're at the store, and they're gonna match this color, I think. She likes a darker color. 
and she wanted only for Sally. So that's it's my last day. I'm actually really excited to be going home, but I've been, definitely enjoyed this trip so, so much. So I have on this pretty little thing. It's supposed to be a dress. I think it's like a shirt dress and then some leather pants. I'll show you guys a picture somewhere here um, of the outfit and we're going to this cute little brunch place. I feel like all I've done here is pretty much like go shopping and eat, which for me is a great vacation. Yeah, that's about it. So we're gonna do that. Come home, finish packing and then Back to Toronto, which I'm actually happy to be going. I miss my daughter so much. I miss my life. I miss my family. I miss everything. And um, if you guys can see, I've tanned so much compared to my face and my hand. It's crazy. I feel like I look bloated also. Maybe not enough contour, but I could care less. I'm at the point where I just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Um, but I've had so much fun. It was such a great trip. It was so needed. I feel like I'm going back to Toronto with a different mindset, very relaxed. And uh, I wanted to thank you guys for watching if you got this far in the video. I don't know how long it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be long. So I appreciate that you've gotten this far. Yeah, see ya. We're almost pulling up. I wanted to show you guys. This area is so cute. It's called what is it? Al Wasal. Al Wasal. I even like the name. Everything about it is fancy. This is the view. Nice view of Dubai. Oh, what is it? Downtown Dubai. And then got some cute shops. Very nice. It's so windy. It's so nice. But apparently, it's looking like rain, which. I'm glad I'm out, honey. I'm not here for no rain. I was here for what? A good time, not a long time. And, uh, but it feels nice to win. If I wanted to have rain and freaking cold weather, I could stay in Toronto for that. Inside, so I got these almond um, pank, French toast made for Nusa, and then we also got these sweet potato fries. They look so good. Look how much guac they put on there, and so beautiful out here. Just eating gotten a little dark now we're gonna go back home i'm gonna finish packing and my flight is later tonight uh, and i've had i keep saying this but i really have had the best trip ever but i am happy to go home and i'm not looking forward to my long flight my flight is like about 12 it's a direct so it's like 12 and a half hours i thought i would prefer direct flights but i actually think i need a layover